but I love the look of that. That was in my backyard and planted up with wildflowers and places to sit. cleaning up That's the good. side yard and our I don't know I don't think that was the same one as yesterday it looks a little thinner but maybe not look how they look has to be a baby doesn't it <laughs> I'm out of lady it's not raining today no it's not I know. I was just going to show them what we did uh, day before yesterday. <coughs> I got Caleb to come in here, and he helped me move some containers out. Don't know if that's where those are going to stay, but maybe. Still got to figure that out. But we put these containers, and I'm making this a raised bed. I'm actually planning on planting mint in here. The blackberry bush in here didn't turn out good. This one right here, I'm gonna transplant. I just gotta figure out where. It's not staying there. No, not staying there. What you doing? Huh? You gonna stay good? You gonna be a good girl? That poor mushroom seen better days, but I kinda hated to get rid of it right now because it's still Looks good, so I told Caleb I'll just put something on top of it. I believe that's chocolate mint, and I left it there for now till I figure out where I want to put it. We got, for people that's followed me may remember, I had a, uh, uh, some kind of kennel, I forget what it's called, pet kennel, right in this area, and then I had this uh, kennel. Well, I decided for now I'm going to keep this one in here. You'll see why in just a little bit. And I'm keeping some of the wild, uh, I call it ground cover. I forget what it's called. But I know it grows real nicely out here in the backyard. Grass has never really grown out here. And with chickens been here over the years and stuff, I believe I can grow something. So we'll have to wait and see what that is. That's got to be all uh, spread out and raked once I get this part done. But, and I've got some containers here that I need to work with. And everything else looks like it's doing good so far. So I'll bring you back. These little rascals are one of the main reasons. Yes, and you too, rascal, that I am going to use that to start with. Yes, you too. And I think Lady's going to come over here and side take a dust bath. I got to get busy. I get watcher. <laughs> That's good and dry under there after it rained, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> you think kids get up all in your business, but no, not just kids. They got to follow me. We're going to go across the street. Most of this has been cleaned out. I got to find out about pruning these right here. I think I got it too close up. Hang on just a second. <laughs> My cows need painting, for sure. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> I can't go anywhere. That Rosa Sharon's probably going to have to come out. Got a couple of weeds there. There's another one. One thing about Rosa Sharon's, they grow everywhere. I'm leaving the wildflowers then. 
I am. Thought I had a tulip poplar in here, but Heather might have got it. More rows of Sharon's. I'm trying to ignore what's going on <laughs> up the hill because they're hollering at me too. So I'll be right back. I believe these geraniums, I mean, I believe these wildflowers, am I showing it? The sun's bright, so I, yeah, right there, are wild geraniums, so I'm gonna dig me up a few. Some wild geraniums, look here. I told you, never alone, never. I'll be up there in a few. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just lay in the middle of the road, why don't you? My idea is to borrow from Mother Nature, add a little bit. In this case, I kind of roughened up the ground and I feel like it's in fairly great shape, especially compared to the woods. And I'm gonna put some of this wildflower blend hummingbird in here. It's only about six foot long say four foot, we'll say five foot, probably about 30 feet, square feet, and this will cover, I think I read 100 square feet, so I won't be using all of it, but I'm gonna use some of it. Wherever you see the white is where the seeds are, not quite evenly, but I poured it from the four spouts the best I could. It says to either tap it down or step on it, I'm going to choose to step on it. And I have, yeah, my good shoes, my better shoes on. I thought I had my other ones. So it says to tap it down, no more than a quarter of an inch. I need to go get my other shoes. These shoes have seen better days. <laughs> I actually winded up losing one of each because... I left them out here with the animals. I did. That's a mistake. So, uh, for jobs like this or just to get out here when it's nasty, I don't care if they match or if they don't. I'm going to finish this up and we'll go to the next step. I don't have you on a tripod, so I'm just going to kind of have to hold the phone and show you. But these are some kind of, I call it gr nature's ground cover. And they have little purple blooms, real pretty ones. But they seem to root wherever they land. That was a big clump of them right here. So I'm going to separate this out a little bit, and I'm going to spread it out over the seed. I've decided to try to use some of what nature gives us, what we go into the woods to enjoy, and it's free. I just have to walk over there and get it. I came out here, and they's back on my porch. I'm going to have to keep the gate closed up because they have made a mess on my porch, hadn't they, girls? Huh? Y'all may just have to climb over for a while until they go to bed. Or till I put them up. This is how a lot of my day goes. Everybody thinks I'm feeding them again because they're coming in. They hear me. That's Thelma. Hi, Louise. So, uh, I just had to run out here and had to get them off the porch. It's a beautiful day, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. It's beautiful today. And people's gardens will need the rain, so that's not a bad thing. Well, hi, lady. I came out here earlier this morning. <coughs> it's late evening now. And kind of Worked a little bit on the yard. I didn't really do anything over here much. I was going to walk around and be glad y'all don't have to follow me the whole time I'm doing something because I move stuff, then I move it back, then I move stuff, and I move it back. My chicken cage, planter and bench that we got from the farm down the road, my trailer down the road. So, 
I kind of put things where I think I might want them to go. But with the option of moving. Ain't that right, lady? You're better get in your house tonight than having to get out at night and actually putting her in her house. While I'm talking to you, I'm checking my mailbox. Crazy. As we used to say, but it brings in, brings the work in is junk mail. Okay, go on. Walking through the yard next door. Hi, Klaus, if you see me. <laughs> I may steal his little buttercups. I don't think I've really seen any in my yard or across the hill. Hi, boo. But he's got buttercups. Got a trash bag. Better get that. I'm sure that's mine. But... I see you. What are you doing, Mama Boo? There are, I need those. It's a good thing I walked over here. Well, I'm gonna get some of your staples. <laughs> I better put that back in here, cause I, but anyway. So that's what, picking up garbage as I go. The wind blows it. But that's what I've been up to. <laughs> Got a couple of happy hens in the front yard. They're about some old tomato and some eggshells, and they've been happy. Are y'all two happy young ladies? I'm glad y'all are getting along so well. I'm glad I don't have to lock one of you up. Henrietta, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. You're a good girl. And lady, yeah, you're a good girl too, honey. They're having their afternoon snack. What they don't eat now, they'll eat later. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Miss Louise. Like I said, Rosa Sharon's can grow anywhere. This one's growing underneath my steps. It has to get pulled out. Don't know if I can just pull it from the top. I'm going to check it and see. What? What? You could help me, you know. You could help me. How did I miss it? <coughs> There's the tulip poplar. They can get really deep roots and um, mess with your drain field, which is in my front yard, so I'm going to have to get that out. For some reason, I thought it was already been missing it. And then my clay pot broke, and my hens and chicks are just laying there with uh, in the dirt, so I'm going to have to get take care of them hopefully tomorrow. Well, I went from the yards to the woods to take a couple of pictures to see what the name of these items are. I just call it ground cover. It's pretty ground cover, but I do believe looks about as lanky as the one I've got in the yard. I see a blackberry bush. Or I should say bond. I wonder if it's the thornless kind like mine. And if it is now, this one has thorns on it, so this would be a wild one. So we're going to have to keep a check on that. I might be able to come out here and get some blackberries. This is across the street from our house. The animals love to get on these rocks right here. I see some ferns I want to get, like that, wild ferns. And I need to take a picture of that because I've been wondering for the past two years exactly what that is. I see a good clump of ferns right there. Wild onions. Just a little bit of everything in here. But I love the look of that. That was in my backyard. 
and plant it up with wildflowers and places to sit. Wouldn't bother me a bit. Of course, I'm not a city girl anymore. I've been in the country 22 straight years. I'm gonna run over here and take a picture of that.